Um, explain why line breeding, um, in quotations, inbreeding, works for bovines, but it's a bad thing in many other species. I don't really know, to be honest. The, we do it with sheep. Yeah, we do it with sheep, but like I don't, I don't know enough about like the reproductive process of different species to understand why it it's fine in cattle but not in other animals. Yeah, you know, I'm not not entirely sure about that. I, I wasn't aware of it until we came here, but I can tell you from personal experience, Greg's animals look phenomenal, and he's been line breeding for years and years and years and years. So. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's evidence every day that it does work or it can work. Um, and I know that it's a very controversial thing. There's people on both sides of the aisle that are, that are saying, well, like, what are you doing? There's no difference. It's basically inbreeding. You, mm-hmm. you get better genetics if you go the other route, but then you've got, you know, living proof from Greg that it just is magnifying good. Mm-hmm. And, and you end up to a point and then you end up with, you know, you end up with a fast track to where you want to be on a genetics basis because you're amplifying those traits from those animals that are succeeding. Picking out the ones that you desire and the ones that are performing yep. in your direct management and location and just yep. exploding, exploding from expanding there. from that. Yep. Um, don't have to worry about the buying in thing. Yeah. I'm a believer, just personal experience. If I have personal experience that's otherwise, I'll let you guys know. But mm-hmm. <laughs> as of right now, I believe it works. I believe in it.